I personally want to salute the courageous trailblazers that made this possible. I came in as an honors student. I was recruited from before I'd gone to the North Carolina Governor's School. I was in uh, Daytona Beach studying with, I was one of the first five students in the Western world to study with Vladimir Ashkenazi, one of the reigning pianists of the Western world, now a conductor. And a Miami couple heard me call the dean of the school of the University of Miami and I've been accepted into Eastman and some other schools, but I decided the University of Miami. And my parents sweetened the deal. My parents were very savvy educators who were also very wise people who had already given me some of the diplomatic skills to negotiate the segregated South into the integrated nation towards being a global citizen. And all of this makes such a difference when you have people that understand. In fact, they said to me, you can stay here, you have a scholarship to the local college and you can pay us rent, or you can go to the University of Miami and we'll pay for everything. And what I told some students the other day at, at Nova Southeastern University where I'm a professor of music was, I'm an intellectual but I'm not stupid. <laughs> and it was one of the best choices that I ever made. So I took honors courses when I was here, like Greek art history. And I think the first week I was here, I was on the Provost television show playing a rock man on off prelude. Uh, by the way, when I'd been in uh, Daytona Beach, uh, J.B. Priestley, whom I just read about in high school, the author, there's a picture of Ashkenazi giving me a lesson, uh, a photo uh, in his book, Trumpets Across the Sea. So uh, I'd gone to the North Carolina Governor's School. I'd gone to several festivals. I had integrated uh, Fayetteville High School, which was a border town for Fort Bragg, North Carolina. So I was already on my way to being a global citizen. I mean, and at that particular point, the um, local high school integrated, but it had the complete support of the military base because the military uh, students were bused in. So with that and also going to the governor's school for the gifted in North Carolina, I already had a leg up on dealing with other people and learning how to survive. So this was an incredible gift, coming here and studying with Ivan Davis, uh, at the University of Miami who had won more competitions than any American pianist and then later when I, won, when I became the first Ivan Davis student to win first prize in the GB Dealey competition in Dallas, you know, the thing about being a trailblazer is it never stops at that particular point. And whereas my contribution was not necessarily legal, I think it's important for everyone to understand who they are and what they can do. So my contribution was living well, learning as much as I could. I, I did everything I possibly could. I was the manager of ticket sales for the French Club, the Cinema Society, and uh, I just had lots of fun and enjoyed everything. Um, we talk about favorite memories, there's so many different ones. I mean, I got to play with Arthur Fiedler and the Miami Pops on recommendation from a um, University of Miami School of Music uh, uh, musician. And, but I would say that one of my favorite memories, because there's so many, is when my uh, late mother came to my induction in the Phi Kappa Phi at the faculty club and Dr. Stanford introduced her to Alice Walker. <laughs> uh, my mom was incredibly wonderful. Uh, once when I gave a concert in my local um, hometown, she got 300 people there because they'd gotten the date wrong. She just got on the phone and did that. And equally, my father was a very savvy educator who had grown up on a farm. So I got not only the practical information but I got how to survive in more ways than one. But the University of Miami was, for me, the icing on the cake. I stayed here, got a master's degree, 
and it was really kind of like a surrogate parent for me because I learned so much about living in the world and yesterday after the reception I talked with three of the uh, students that were leaving as well and I feel as an educator and, a, and as an administrator and a concert pianist I feel it's important to uh, talk to people and tell them things they're not going to hear everywhere about how to survive, about treating people with kindness and respect because as my parents said, you see the same people on the way up as you see on the way down. And about getting, using the college experience to get to know who you are.